Every country's defense is measured in terms of war machines and advanced technologies. As a result, the Indian Air Force is also keeping a long-term vision for constructing a strong fence along India's borders and releasing some of the best fighter jets in its defense ground. India is also developing its own fighter jets in order to become more self-sufficient in terms of economic benefits. However, it is not easy to develop fighter jets that can compete with Western countries' fighters such as Boeing, Dassault, Sukhoi, or Eurofighter. Every other fighter jet is more advanced and has already been tested in combat. The next generation of aerial warfare technological breakthroughs are already taking shape in the form of unmanned systems, hypersonic combat aircraft, and laser energy weapons. It is almost redefining the concept of modern air and space warfare. How does the IAF respond to evolving threats and capabilities? The Indian Air Force expressed interest in acquiring more fighter jets for its defense fleet in 2007. After several years, the IAF now has a plethora of options for procuring stronger jets for its fleet. Because of the research conducted by the Indian HAL, the Tejas aircraft was successfully launched. Other fighter jets are in the works and will be tested soon. However, the IAF can no longer rely on HAL to quickly develop jets for its squadrons because these aircraft may not yet be battle-proven. It is possible that an additional technology that can stand and fight alongside other fighter jets will be required. So the IAF has stated that it will continue to pursue developed foreign aircraft on Indian soil. This transaction is estimated to be worth around $20 billion. One of the largest contracts for the Indian Air Force. Aside from that, the Indian Air Force is looking for indigenously built aircraft, and they have already placed a large order with HAL, which will be delivered next year. The IAF is currently planning 83 LCA, 70 HTT-40, 2 AMCA MK-1 squadrons, and 5 AMCA MK-2 squadrons. Furthermore, the LCH order and other developments in the helicopter fleet will allow for 450 aircraft. In the long run, the IAF will have the LCA variants AMCA and MRFA, as well as 56 C-295s for tactical airlift. There is no other commitment of 450 aircraft anywhere in the world. This depicts the IAF's capability building strategy. It should be noted that China is already upgrading J-20 and J-31 aircrafts and developing new fighter jets with sixth-generation capabilities in areas such as stealth and hypersonic weapons. China is leading the way in the aerial dimension of laser and AI-based precision warfare capabilities. Clarity is essential for making significant progress on critical projects like MRFA. A policy quandary that stalls the timeline defeats the purpose. The proposed 114 MRFA must pass through such trails in order for the IAF to cement its formidable position in aerial warfare and to build an advanced aerospace industrial base. What are your thoughts on the Indian Air Force's intentions to purchase new fighter jets? Is it better to invest in foreign aircraft for fleets, or should the Air Force look for fighter jets made in India? Let us know in the comments section.